So Bagley Pros, we've been here since for the last 46 years. We've gone through freezes, we've gone through peso devaluations. You know, we started off with a whole line of things, onions and some limes, but watermelons has always been our main focus. We run through here to, to the import and portion of the domestic season as well. Our import season starts in October, goes all the way through April. Our domestic starts in April, goes all the way through late July, and then picks up again. So out of this shed, we're pretty much running mm, eight months out of the year. The bulk of the business will be retail. You know, your HEBs, your Walmarts, your Sam's Club, your Costco's. Also, it does go to a lot of your local fruit stands. Edinburgh's not just feeding Edinburgh, Edinburgh's also feeding New York, and it's feeding LA, it's feeding Detroit. It's, you know, nationwide. This is kind of like a setup of how we do it. The melons come off the trucks and they come down here and they go through these brushes to kind of clean them up, get the shine going and stuff of that nature. We have sizing. You know how you go to a store, you'll see a large, small, medium. The smaller the number, the larger the melon. Before a lot was by hand. Now we're doing a lot of automation here as far as with the belts and things of that nature. Um, they used to come from the trucks and it was all hand done off the trucks, hand offloaded, hand packed, hand stacked and things like this have all come into place. On a big, good day, we can process, ship out, you know, 30 to 40 loads per day out of this facility. So that's 30 to 40 inbound trucks and 30 to 40 outbound trucks, which is up to 80 trucks. So not only in our quality, we're checking for sunburn and bruising, but we're also checking for interior quality as, as well, sugar flavor profile. This is a seedless watermelon here. So we'll cut it, then we'll take samples. This is, um, Refractometer, it, it measures the sugar. Ten point five. A lot of retailers want a minimum spec of ten, so it measures the sugar brick content of the watermelon. The difference, and and if we were to cut these right now, you could see the difference, and the two melts, and that's what they, when they're grading on the line, they're grading for that. And that one. Look, look at the difference in flesh. Nice and tight. And this is the one that sounded like the base trunk. See how it's all broken apart on the inside? It's got some bruising taking place on the inside. And this is just, you know, from being dropped or whatever. You don't want this one. You want this one. Here in this shed, we have 105 people when we're up and running. Everyone that's here is local within this area. Like we have people that have our second, even third generation employees here. Their parents started working here, their kids started working here, and now their kids are working here. My name is Daniel Gonzalez. I have here approximately 20 years here. I'm in charge of checking the sandia when it comes. When we run, we need to check all the quality, that everything will be perfect so that there won't be any problems when we put it for the stores. For me, it's perfect because it's a company that offers a lot of work to many people. When it's around, when it's the season, we check the quality of the sandia for 100 people. Look at the difference in the flesh. 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 Look at the difference you know, and there's a lot of stuff that we do that we feel is good, like giving back to the community. I truly believe that the celebration, your memories of a watermelon, it's never during a bad time, it's always during a good time. And we think that's good for those who need maybe a little uplift, you know, so that's why we do it with the community. To get north, you have to go by us. To get south, you have to go by us. So the visibility sitting here on 281 is, is huge.